you know, Steve and me and right. it was it, it was it wasn't with dignity. Because my vision was, damn, you know, how I was going to leave the game was at a press conference. Right. You know, with my boys in the crowd and cameras popping, right. whatever that is, and and go out on my own terms. But it didn't happen that way. Right. So watching them when I was in the Dallas Cowboy uniform, watching the team that I helped build, you know, was painful. And it was hard for me to love the game the same way. I saw the business side of 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 the game and I could not adjust to it because I did not play for that. I did not play for money. I played for the camaraderie, the love. That's what you, you missed the most. Saying? That's what I missed the most. You mentioned Steve <clears throat> and you guys had a great relationship and unfortunately he died tragically in a murder suicide. How did that impact you? Because I know you guys were so close. Yeah. Um it's not there's not a day I don't think about him. You know what I'm saying? Um I dream about him a lot actually. Wow. And in the dream is like we're out at the practice field. I can hear his laugh. So to see his distinct laugh and he's laughing, and he's joking with me. And I, and I say to him, man, see, you're not dead. And I wake up and I'm like, damn, you know, he's physically gone. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a way, it was his way of telling me that I'm not. Right. I'm on the other side. It's a different phase of life, but I'm not. Um, watching him, uh, become, you know, uh, the player that he became to be yeah. was awesome. Alcorn to MVP, leading the team to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but in his dark moments though, Shannon, like it was some tough times when yeah. the fans booed him. Yes. When he couldn't throw a five yard out with confidence. When he wasn't Eric McNair, you know, he was a manager and he, and he was selfless in the point where he didn't say much. He knew his role, but once he committed to his craft, and dedicated to being um, uh, uh, the quarterback that he wanted to be, he was awesome. And I watched him go from, you know, not being able to throw a five yard out to being masterful, calling plays within the play, you know, on the football field, on five wides and checking the play, you know, manipulating the defense with his eyes and safety. I mean, all that stuff. It was awesome to watch that. To watch him go from that to MVP was, was awesome, man. It all kicks off Super Bowl Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.